We've been walking all night. Why aren't we there yet? Just hold on a little longer. We should be close. And they all look pretty much the same. It feels like we've just walked through it. It's so hard to walk in this place. Yes. Be careful, Dandan. Look ahead. Another intersection? Do you guys smell that? What's that smell? It smells so good. Yeah. It smells good. So the Pei residence is also following up the news of the Crown. But whatever. Where there's life, there's hope. I can take my time to investigate. It's better than falling into the Sioux family. Where's this fragrance coming from? Here you go. Catch me. Wait for me. Uh. Got you. Annoying. Young master. Young master. Do you like me? Young master. Will you? No. Didn't I tell you already? From now on, stay away from our pay family. Just fend for yourself. Why are you so annoying? Will you? Annoying. What are you doing? You just called for Quilu. Huh? Do I... Do I look like Quilu? What just happened? I don't know. It seems like someone used a love potion on us. Huh? Where is Liu? Huh? Shuang Shuang. Shuang Shuang. <laughs> Liu, wake up. Liu. Liu! Oh. Get up! Young Master Dandan? What is this? Such a grown man. <sighs> Miss Dandan, what happened to me? We must have been drugged. Oh. Let's hurry and go. Go. Let's go. Young master. Over there. Slow down. It seems someone got here before us. It must be the one who used the love potion. Young master, look, what is this? It. What happened? The micro carving on this jade key is my Pei family's ancestral ultra-fine hollowing technique. Who could imitate this skill so exquisitely? We really were careless. It must be some villain spreading the news, luring us here. It was said that the key to Cave of the Crown came from my Pei family. And we arrive here in the dead of night. If we meet someone, we would be misunderstood. It's infuriating. 
Who could be so malicious? So that means the one who used the love potion and trapped us in the forest could actually have saved us. Whether they are friend or foe is uncertain. Who came to our rescue? Whatever. Let's just go back for now. If we meet someone, we really can't explain ourselves. Let's go. Go. How is he? Mr. Sue is almost free of toxins now. It won't endanger his life. That's good, that's good. Are the toxins almost gone or completely gone? It won't endanger his life. Could it harm his body, though? Um... Uh, Miss Shuang Shuang? Shopkeeper Wang, I'm with the Young Master every day. Do you think I would harm Young Master? Oh, no, no. Of course not. Of course not. I still don't know why the young master was so severely injured. He... Accident. Really? Never mind. It's just me, a meddling woman. The poison is not dispersed in the affected area. Doctor, you must know about this, right? Yes, yes. So just use herbal medicine to detoxify. How could it possibly cure? Yes, yes, yes. All right, all right. What's this? This is top quality red jade powder, made from good quality gold and jade. Daily application will leave no scars. As a jade artisan, you know the method of using good jade to eliminate scars? Uh, uh, yes, I do. Thank you. Mr. Sue is a man of integrity. He lives a clean life. It wouldn't be good to leave any marks. Yes, yes, yes. The toxins have been removed. Then I will take my leave. Shuang Shuang. I'm sorry. Don't move. <sighs> I was wrong. I'm sorry. What are you talking about, young master? I don't understand. He... He is saying, the treatment Suyu Pavilion gives you is too... Uncle, I have to say. I was wrong. I apologize. We doubted you. I believed the rumors from others. That's why I set up this trap. Shuang Shuang, do you know? The moment I took off the mask and saw it wasn't you. I was so happy. Since it was a misunderstanding, why would you even mention it? You're right. Mr. Sue is a man of integrity. He lives a clean life. It wouldn't be good to leave any marks in your world. I can't have any blemish. Mr. Sue, you're not well from illness. You should rest early. It is nothing. Not to mention an arrow. If it could restore your reputation, I don't care. If it's full of wounds... If you really worry about me, then get well soon. The Sioux family has already doubted my identity and purpose. The suspicions of the Pei family are becoming apparent. It seems it's really time to make an end. The micro-carving on this jade key is my Pei family's ancestral ultra-fine hollowing technique. Who could imitate this skill so exquisitely?
What are you thinking about? Tell me, could it be the Sioux family's doing? I dare not say. This matter with Painter Tan, Suka has been very helpful. He's been a great help, given my sister's face. He probably wouldn't do such a terrible thing. We can know the face, but not the heart. This matter with the crown has been dragged out again. I always have a bad premonition. All right, it's good that we are at peace now. The Fragrance Jade Market has opened up now. My sister is also coming to help at Chipe Pavilion. Everything is moving in a positive direction, so there's no need for you to worry. Leave tomorrow's worries for tomorrow. You're going to do this the hard way? Okay then, I'll ask you. What did you call me in the woods yesterday? Uh, I don't remember. Wasn't I poisoned yesterday? You don't remember? Poisoned? I think it was a case of truth serum in effect. Did I say something wrong? Were you missing Quilu? No, 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 not at all. Not at all. It hurts. So what were you calling out in the woods? What did I call out? I really don't. You kept remember. calling out for Quilu, Quilu. Look at your flattering face. Do you miss her? I, I didn't, Danden. I was wrong. I really was wrong. You were wrong. I was wrong. Now it hurts. What were you doing? Truly wrong, Danden. Hurry, hurry. Enough. What exactly did I say? Don't laugh. Still laugh. Stop looking. Young Master. You're not well enough yet. What are you doing? Kipe Pavilion is appreciated. I unjustly took my anger out on you. Even the misfortunes of the Sioux family. I suspected were your doing. I was so wrong. I don't even know how to make it up to you. Just as well. This Mandarin duck has arrived. I take it as compensation for you. Mr. Su. I told you at the Jade competition. This Mandarin duck was made for you. It just took some time to add gold plating and a crystal cover. Now, it's returned to its owner. What merits do I have to trouble you with such thoughtfulness? From the first time you entered Suyu Pavilion, you caught my attention. Not only are you talented, but also virtuous and good. Having you by my side made winning all the smoother during the Jade competition. These days, Facing hardships together with you has made me realize how important you are in my heart. I've made up my mind. In this life, I want to be with you, side by side. Shuang Shuang. Will you marry me? I will treat you well for a lifetime. Mr. Su, I think you've misunderstood. I've never considered romantic feelings between us. How, how could I? You've been so good to me. Am I wronging you? Are you still holding a grudge? Mr. Su, you're overthinking it. I don't care what others think about me. I only treat you as my master. <sighs> it's me. I was too hasty in proposing. 
How about this? Next time, I'll give you a championship piece. Or... I'll share all of Suyu Pavilion's wealth. With you. Because of Kipei Pavilion's success today, you're worried about Suyu Pavilion's decline. Don't worry, Shuang Shuang. As long as I'm here, Suyu Pavilion will always be the best in Yunkui. Mr. Su, whether I like you or not, has nothing to do with these things. It's like the Mandarin ducks without eyes. Choosing a partner isn't about appearances. Don't you understand? What's more, today I'm looking for you. I want to tell you, I'm very grateful for your kindness to me and for taking care of me. But... I might have to resign. I've been thinking about it. I want to stay with my sister. I hope you can understand Are you saying you're going to the Pei family? Why do you treat me this way? I've been so good to you. Why do you still want to choose Kipei Pavilion, which opposes me at every turn? We all have our own destiny. Where to go is decided by God long ago. <sighs> Mr. Su, I really appreciate you. But please let me go. So, you've made up your mind. Mr. Su, I'm sorry. Dad. Hurry to the back hall and practice with the master. If you still can't beat the scoundrel from the Pei family, I can only pretend I never had a son like you. <laughs> Daddy. Why? Must you take away all my happiness? Pei Pei. Keep a pavilion. I won't let you off. I won't let you off. Young master, this is Miss Shuang Shuang applying to be a silversmith. I saw you hugging with that painter Tan, whispering sweet nothings. I'm resentful, I'm jealous, okay? It's wonderful. Two Mandarin ducks without eyes, yet still snuggling together. Funny, unconventional. What is this? What craftsmanship? <laughs> Sandalwood, peach blossom, pear scent, dovetail. It's just these few scents over and over. How boring. Yes. For us to use the same fragrant jewelry as those vulgar women on the streets. How can that be? 
You make a good point. Uh, but the perfume pavilion our shop collaborates with needs time to develop new scents. Blending scents with jade is not a simple task. So... What's so difficult about it? You're just brushing us off. Go call our old friend, Madam Pei. We don't want to talk to you. She... Hey, all What's going on? My beautiful and graceful noble ladies. What's the matter? Yo! Isn't this the little maid who played mahjong with us last time? I remember. She won quite a bit of silver from us. Exactly. Miss Danden is now the second shopkeeper of Kipe Pavilion. From now on, if you have any requests, or if there's anything you don't like, just let me know directly. First off, congratulations on your promotion. Thank you. Just like I was saying, these common pieces of jewelry, we don't care for them. Right. Do you have any other unique fragrances? Yes, of course. For someone of your stature, you're so noble, and you're a close friend of our madam. These ordinary accessories surely aren't worthy of you. It's just... It's just what? It's just that incorporating these special spices into the jade, the cost is extremely high. So the price will be many times that of the ordinary ones. <laughs> as long as we're satisfied, not to mention several times, even tens or hundreds of times more is no problem. Besides, my old sister's shop is open for business. Obviously, we're here to give her money. But this money, you have to make us happy to give it. Got it. I'll have my team start developing it right away, and send it to your homes on a certain day, guaranteed to satisfy. Well done. Then we'll be waiting back home. All right. Take care. Let's go. Be careful. Hurry up with the development. Don't worry. Dan Dan, Shuang Shuang is here. My sister is here. Why are you more excited than I am? Not at all. Sister, it's wonderful. We're finally reunited. Exactly. Now we can be together. Mr. Pei, sorry for the trouble. Not at all, Miss Shuang Shuang. Having you here is a blessing for Chipe Pavilion. Well, young master, I'll take my sister to where she'll be staying. Let's go, sister. Young master, I'm heading out too. Sister, your place is over there. Take it slow, Miss Shuang Shuang. Right over there. Let's fold it. Hey. Sister, please have a seat. It's so good you're here. Then we can talk more in the evenings. Yes, we finally get to live together. Hmm. However, didn't Madame Pei promote you to second shopkeeper? Why do you still live in the maid's quarters? Young Master was going to get me a new room. But I think it's quite nice here. And pretty spacious. It's much more spacious than our house, right? Sister, are you not used to living here? Then I'll go talk to young master. Silly girl. When did I ever care about that? I'm just worried you might feel wronged. I... I don't feel wronged. I'm quite happy here. Liu Liu. I'm here. Is the workshop ready? It's all set up. Shall we go now? All right, let's go. <laughs> Be careful, sister. <laughs> she's coming. She's coming. Get ready. Welcome, Miss Shuang Shuang. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Miss Shuang Shuang, this way, please. Come this way. From now on, you'll be working over here. I've already cleaned up for you, and the weather's getting cooler. I've prepared a seat cushion for you. Don't catch a cold. You're very kind. Look at our Liu. When did he become so caring? I, not really. <laughs> Miss Shuang Shuang, I've looked into your work at Suyu Pavilion. This time I won't be assigning you too many tasks. Sister, you're in charge of for designing gold and silver jewelry. As for jade designs, you can participate if you'd like. I think I'd better start with gold and silver. After all, that's what I'm best at. Miss Shuang Shuang is right. <laughs>
Jia. You haven't eaten all day. Are you trying to starve yourself to death? I'm not hungry. Is a woman worth all this? You are the top Jade appraiser in Yunkwai City. If you want someone, there won't be women throwing themselves at you. Top Jade appraiser. Top Jade shop. What's the point? Since I was young, I've been working hard with your mother. Now I assist you. But if you keep this up, how am I supposed to explain this to your mother? If you're capable, take her back. Otherwise, if there's no Xipei Pavilion in the world, where else could she go? Dun Dun, may I come in? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you say before that it's right to bravely pursue love? That a young man's feelings deserve respect. Wait, wait, wait. Liu, we're really not suitable. It's not us two. After working all day today, Shuang Shuang must be exhausted. This is Goryeo Ginseng Madam rewarded me with. Please pass it on to her. It's for her to replenish her blood. It's not me. Oh. <gasps> Liu, you really went all out. <laughs> Wait, it's my sister's first day here today. You... And this, this too. I am also planning to give this to her. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Understand. Will you help me? Yes. <laughs> Got it. Dun dun. <laughs> Is he all right? Uh, yes, he's fine. Sister. <clears throat> this is... Take it. I see. He's really serious. What do you think? I'm not in the mood to talk about love now. I'd rather help you with your career first. Oh. Sister, actually I can tell... This Mr. Sue has romantic feelings for you, right? He has feelings, but I can't reciprocate. After all, it's hurtful. Indeed. Such matters can't be forced. <sighs> Let's just go with the flow. I really hope to see you in a rosy robe and phoenix crown. It must be beautiful. <gasps> oh... Sister, you always mention that Moon Phoenix crown. What exactly is it? I've heard legends about it, but it seems like you all are very familiar with it. Back then, Master Pei made the Moon Phoenix crown. It was supposed to be presented to the Empress, but it got hijacked on the way. Many lives were lost over it. I don't see it as a divine item. Rather, it seems more like a disaster. The Moon Phoenix crown, besides the Pei family, also brought the skills of famous craftsmen from all over the country. Nowadays, most of these techniques have been lost. Even the whereabouts of the gems on the crown are unknown. You said Master Pei was the chief designer. The young master must be exceptionally skilled as well. Some techniques on the Moon Phoenix crown, even Master Pei himself couldn't master. Not to mention that Pei Pei was still young at that time. His skills are so extraordinary. It's actually quite strange. His parents leave behind heritage skills. What did our parents leave for me? A lucky stone. Sister. Do you think it could be their token of love? 
Done, done. I'm feeling a bit tired. Let's rest for now. Okay. The beds are all made. Sister, I'll sleep with you tonight. What can you say? Wait for me. Slow down, don't fall. Shuang Shuang. Liu. Both are even numbers. Shuang Shuang. Liu. It's so real. Liu. Liu. Miss Shuang Shuang. Where are Dandan Dan and Shopkeeper Hao? They had to go out. That's okay. Miss Dandan Dan said if there's trouble, find me. I've encountered some bottlenecks in my design. I've given most of my skills to Suyu Pavilion. So I am thinking, could I reference the previous works of Chipe Pavilion to find inspiration? Oh. Where are the historical drafts usually kept? Can I take a look? We have just the place in Chipe Pavilion. No problem. I'll take you there. Miss Shuang Shuang, follow me. Miss Shuang Shuang, this way, please. Miss Shuang Shuang, this shelf holds the Jade Awards and crafts through the dynasties. And this shelf contains the top carving techniques from various masters scattered among the people. They are collected and compiled into books by us and finally stored here. This one is quite impressive. It holds the culmination of our predecessor's crafts at Kipe Pavilion. It's perfect for study. As the saying goes, the carvings are still there. But the color has changed. The color has changed. The color? All right, I'll look on my own. Okay, call me if you need anything. Oh, Miss Shuang Shuang. Miss Shuang Shuang, I see you are gentle as Jade. I suppose you won't be shouting. How about this? I'll give this to you. If you need anything, just ring it. I'll come right away. No one else has one. Of course. It's okay if you don't need it. <laughs> 